All right, as you guys know, I'm not really much for making hardware reviews, but I gotta do something in here to split up the Fallout because a lot of people, though a lot of people love Fallout stuff, a lot of you really are just passing it by. So I gotta do something to keep you guys entertained until a new project comes around because I'm really rushing for Fallout. So here's me reviewing a peripheral I bought off of Amazon. It's the SNES USB controller from G-Tron. Um, main reason I bought this was for the purpose of playing Mario Hacks on my computer because if I wanted an original cart I'd buy it on my Retro Duo over there if you didn't I already reviewed that unit too so check it out and like you guys know I'm not really a hardware guy so don't expect a score at the end but I will evaluate this to the best of my ability anyway got the unit from Amazon for about 15 10 bucks the bottom was already opened eerily enough to the back Controller, compatible with PCs, plug and play, no extra drivers, cord five feet long, controller is not wireless. Yes, that's a bit apparent by the previous point saying the cord is five feet long. And then Spanish, we recycle, SNES, trademark Nintendo. This project is not sponsored by Sega. I really wonder why anyone would assume this project is sponsored by Sega considering it's a Super Nintendo controller. Oh well. Let's look inside. Inside we have just the controller unit itself and nothing else. So nice box, already open. What out? Toss that aside. Comes in a nice blue thing that isn't sealed. So comes right out. Then here's the controller. This is the first time I'm feeling it. Um, replicates the look and feel of the Super Nintendo controller pretty nicely. Um, buttons feel fine. Shoulders feel kind of clicky, but still click just fine. Start and select feel a bit flimsy, but I'm sure they'll work fine. And D-pad, this is the one thing that always throws at me off on Super Nintendo controller remakes. Why is there a... looks like there's a bit of a chip there. Oh well. Feels alright, actually. Oh well. Now I'm going to test this controller with um, a uncopyrighted, unregistered Mario game on the computer. So that way, the game I'm playing is 110% not made by Nintendo or copyrighted or any of that stuff. So it's legal to be playing. And yeah, there's no chance of being sued, or if this video gets monetized, hopefully, then hopefully that won't count against me. Whatever. Alright, here's my desktop. Let me turn on a light, and let's see what happens. Um, Alright, here's my desktop. Now let's see how well the computer picks up on the Super Nintendo controller using Windows 7 64 bit edition. And uh, where are you? There you are. Let's see how if it installs correctly, what it even detects it as. Uh, it detects it as two axis eight key gamepad. Well, couldn't have summed that one up any better. And wonderful. All right, now let's test it out on a game to see how responsive it is. All right, anyway, let's. Alright, start. Oh boy, I'm a bit leery about this, but let's see how this thing works. Alright, let's see here. Alright, seems fair enough so far. Seems responsive enough. Of course, I am doing a capture, so it would ordinarily probably be smoother than this. Oh my god. Alright. Just gonna play the first level. Charging Chuck. Hooray. Like I said, this is uncopyrighted work that somebody else made. Can't open that unless I'm big. But honestly, it feels like pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty responsive. Just like normal Super Nintendo would be. Uh, 
Let's see if that gets in here. No. Got some slowdown, mainly because I'm capturing... Ooh, vine. Dragon coin, hooray! Oh boy. Oh dear. No. Ah, oh boy. Don't know how that happened. Uh... No! Let's see if I can rewind that a bit. Oh, there we go. Let's save that. No! Try again. Yes! Good job. Oh dear. Alright. No! No! Ah, oh, fuck you. I'm taking your shelf. And that's that. Controller seems pretty responsive. I'm satisfied. Worth the purchase price. I got it for about, you can get it for about 10, 15 bucks over on Amazon. Just search SNES USB and it should come up. Um, yeah, it's completely unmarked controller. It looks like an SNES controller though and feels close enough to one to the point where it's suitable. So until next time, I'm Matt Goldsman and I'll catch you next time.